the people of the land. For they are bread for us. Their defense is departed from them, and the Lord is not with us. Fear them not. Huh? Only rebel ye not against the Lord, neither fear ye the peoples of the land, for they are bread for us. Their defense is departed them, and the Lord is with us. Fear them not. Hmm? So I thank God. I thank God. Amen. There were 12 different men chose to go in to spy the land of Canaan, which was to be to Israel their land given to them by the law. I heard somebody say, I, 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 I know my thoughts towards you there. Peace and not evil. I know how you mumble and talk. And against Moses and against the Lord, but to against the prophet and against the Lord. How evil thoughts come to your mind. But the Lord has said through his word, I know my thoughts. We have peace and not evil yes. to get us to an expected end. Yes, huh? Oh, I thank God. And 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 you know that there was they there were twelve men that were sent out. They had an assignment. They 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 needed to know what is this land. Huh? They needed to know what is this land and the people. They didn't know something about the land and something about the people. They didn't know whether they were strong or whether they were weak. They needed to know whether they were few or whether they were many. Whether it was good land or bad land. Whether cities were tents, or strongholds, they, they needed to know about the land, whether it was fat or whether it was lean. But they were told to be of good courage, huh? Be of good courage and bring the fruit of the land back. And so they did. They brought a cluster of grapes, one cluster of grapes, that it took two men to kick. But they also brought an evil report, 10 of them. You know, a lot of times we talk about what, uh, uh, what's confirmed. We want to know uh, uh, that confirmation has been confirmed. But here, the confirmation is not good, but evil. Now, now we, in our right state of mind, we say, man, there's some bad people over there. Huh? We say them credit card companies and the credit folks are, Giants in the land, wealthy people, rich people. You can't, you can't push against that. You can't do this, or you can't do that. You, 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 you got to figure out another way. And then we talk about the land, you know, our, our past, you know, where, 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 where we came from. And what we get, see, we come from Egypt. We come from a, a bad place. 
We come from being slaves in Egypt. And we're going down on our own. We came from renters and now about to be owners. And so, so that's a big jump. That's a big leap. Now, now we know that if I'm an owner, I, 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 I'm living large. I know things have got a little lighter. Even though I got responsibility now, I know I don't have the load on my back that I had on my back. And I know I can make it a little bit better now. Huh? Uh, so the land is, is, is fat, it's not lean. It's a land of milk and honey. Yes. It's a good land. And, but, but, but many times we, we sell it for less. Huh? Because of where our trust is. Now, he said, if the Lord delight in us, if the Lord is pleased with us, he'll give us this good land of milk and honey. Yeah. Huh? We, we, we'll be able to make it. Yes, sir. Boy, I have to worry about getting choked on the meat. Mm. Boy, I have to worry about getting sick from the food because the honey will be in there. Come on, somebody. I'm just saying. Yeah. Huh? So it's looking pretty good from one perspective, but then again, it's looking pretty bad from another perspective. Now, now, as I read on uh, 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 Numbers chapters 14 and verses 24 says, but the servant Caleb, because he had another spirit with him. Oh Lord, look at him now. He had another spirit that was with him. The spirit that was with him. You, you got to make sure not only who you sin beside, but what spirit sin. Sometimes the wrong spirit will try to sit on you. Sometimes the wrong state of mind to get on you. Huh? You know, I'm going to the house of God. I'm going to have a good time. George and Joe, they done got on my nerve, and now my good time is gone. Yes. But, but, but that, that ain't got nothing to do with George and Joe. That's got something to do with the spirit on you. Yes. Uh, oh, come on now, I'm just saying, amen? Because if I'm in the right state of mind, I, I mean, Jesus is in the bottom of the ship sleeping, it ain't worrying him. Huh? You ain't all the way in what the thing is of it is. You, you just loop warm. Because if you'd have been on fire for the Lord, would nothing worry you. Amen. You'd have been excited by the Lord. You see, one thing, uh, David said, uh, Peter, Paul, try them all. So the, the, the idea that the devil ain't going to try you. Amen. Huh? That he ain't going to try to shake your, your bush and get you to run from up. See, the time God got a blessing for you, the devil going to start messing. Uh, and because we cheap and live, we always point the finger. Oh, it was you that made me mad. It was you that done this. It was you that done that. Huh? And, and the reason that we don't say it with the devil, because we 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 halfway affiliated with the devil. Oh, y'all don't want to talk to me. Huh? You say don't bite the hand that feeds you. Come on, somebody, amen. Because if you was on the Lord's side. You have the light of God to see clearly what and who it is. I heard the Lord say, forgive them for they know not what they do. Huh? But I, 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 I thank God. So instead of me blaming you, I could have blamed. Oh, come on now. Huh? My ace cool moon, the devil that's sitting Amen. with me. Come on, somebody. Amen. Huh? Now, now, why you said I got the devil and they made me mess, made me mad, or made me this way? Yeah. Well, they didn't do nothing but stir the devil up in you. Amen. Oh, Jesus. I'm just saying, amen. amen. If you didn't have the devil, they wouldn't have said, come on, somebody. 
How they gonna stir sugar up in something you ain't got no sugar in? You can stir that glass all day, but no sugar in it. You can stir it, you can shake it, you can do anything else with it. It still ain't gonna be sweet. Come on, somebody. Amen. But just a little bit of that. Let me the show. I'm right at the bird, but nobody better bother me this morning. Oh, I thank God. I give God praise, Lord. God is taking me somewhere. Can I, can I say this here? In, in, in the scripture reading, we were told in, in, in the 11th chapter, the 6th verse, it said, but without faith, see, number one, you got to have faith. Uh, without faith, it's impossible to delight in the law. It's too. It's impossible to please God. See, if the Lord delight in us, He'll give us the land. But if we ain't pleasing God, we not. He's not delighted in us. And so I, I can't move forward into my next. See, 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 in order, in order to move forward, you got to be, you got to take your next. Come on, somebody. Amen. Now, he brought me out of a heavy situation. So if, I, if I'm still raising sad, I'm backing up. I, 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 I done laid down huh, my burden. But I done picked it back up. And now he's got my seven, eight other demons that yes. come along with it. Huh? So I got to make sure in my forward movement, I got to have my mind made up. Right. And, and, and if I come to God, I first got to believe in what? Yes. Oh, somebody didn't get that. Somebody didn't get that. Somebody didn't get that. See, see, this right here is about my mind being made up. Amen. If, if I had something to talk about today, it would be a made up mind. Yes. You, you have to have a made up mind to be able to please God. Uh, because if your mind is made up to be evil, you won't be lukewarm. And if your mind made up to be good, you still won't be Luke Wong. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. See, I'm on, I, I, I got my mind made up. I want to serve the Lord. Amen. See, I'm coming to God. But if I come to God, I got to believe that he's a rewarder. Yes. Yes, I can't get on my knees and go to praying to God. Yes. And then find fault why I can't get to where I'm going. Because right. I... I, I if I'm coming to God, I got to believe that he is going to do what he said, what I asked him to Amen. do in his name. Amen. See, because I asked in the name of Jesus. Y'all yes. yes. don't want to talk to me. Is anybody got what God said? Is anybody understanding anything about it? Thank you, Holy Ghost. Is anybody understanding? Praise the Lord Jesus yes. Christ. Is anybody understanding what God is talking about? Yes. I'm talking about Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Does anybody understand what Jesus is talking about? See, see, whatever I ask, praise the Lord. I, I, I give, I, I ask in the name of Jesus. Y'all don't want to talk to me. Did, did anybody get that revelation? Is anybody revelated here? See, if I if I ask in my name, See, see, my trust is in me. Yeah, you won't get it. Uh -huh. I won't give me a cup of water in my name. You won't get it. And if you don't move fast, uh -huh. I'm going to fall out with you. Because hey, you get to me when I want it, how I want it. Amen, amen. But when I ask in the name of Jesus, yes. he going to do it when he wants I ain't walking in my own character now. Wait on God. Wait on 
I'm not walking in my own on my own reality now. I'm walking in in the spirit of the law. And, and the spirit of the law is patience. Yes, yes. Y'all don't want to talk to me. Come on now. See, you got to have patience. Yes. Oh, I'm talking about what state of mind you in. Yes. You got to have your mind made up. If I believe God gave it to me, then I, I can wait on God. I heard somebody say, wait on the law. Yeah, you thought God wanted you to sit out and wait till he comes. Wait till he gets ready. Yes. Wait till he do it. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh, you thought you were going to run out there and accept in the name of Jesus and go pop in your face. Uh, you got it made now. Uh, uh, but he said, whatever you ask in my name. My name. Right. You ain't going to dirt my name out Jesus. like you dirt your name out. You, 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 my name is a high tower. My name ain't that garbage can you've been leading out of. Yes, that you've been lifted up. Jesus. Oh, praise Jesus. me, you know. Jesus. Oh, I thank the Lord. Thank huh? you, Lord. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you Jesus. He said, he said e -e if you come to God, yes. you got to believe that he is yes. God. What, what is he talking about? If you come to God, you got to believe that he is God. Mm. Ain't no need to come to God if you don't believe he can do it. Going about your business. I ain't none of your girlfriend, your boyfriend. Oh, I've got a dad in my look, you love me five dollars. I ain't got it. I would get it then. Come on. But I gave you but I I honestly I don't have it. They will get my money. No, but but you ain't going to hug him. <laughs> can, I, can I be candid with you? Look at what he said. He said, For he that cometh to God, don't even come to me if you don't believe that I am who I am. If, if you believe anything too hard for me, why are you coming asking me and you know I ain't going to give it to you? What you been knocking on my door? I'm in, here, I'm in here with my family resting. Didn't they say I created things and rested? You, you know uh, uh, why God ain't gonna, you know why God gonna kill all of them except those uh, over twenty? And you come to my, see, they were crying for years, calling on God. He he created the world and he rested. And you done kept right on calling and got him up now. And he done came forward and now you ain't got no faith. Why you call me? What you, why you disturb my... You ever find somebody tired and done did all that work and that went to sleep and you done went in there and woke him up for some foolishness? You done went in there and woke your mama and your dad up for some foolishness and now the belt flying everywhere. <laughs> Uh, then I'm going to slap off. And from now on out there. What's wrong with you, daddy? Huh? Uh, you better ride and wake him up in here. <laughs> Come on, somebody. You don't wake him till he please. Huh? Hey, you're going to call on the law. you going to come to me. Huh? But you don't have faith in me. You don't believe. You know somebody that you don't believe, you give it up. All right. You don't give it up. I told you I would. You don't get it. What you get to me? I tell you what, go on about your business now. But you say you're going to get to me. You got a man of my word. We ain't going to get to me. Okay, well, I give you a dollar, y'all kidding. I'm going to give him a dollar. I'm going to fulfill my work. But he ain't going to never come back no more. I want to kill on the head. Huh? I'm just saying, hey, man. You done asked him more than one time. The man's just waiting to kill you down there. 
You better hope you got a good jackass ride with you, boy. Because you ain't in trouble with one that's been with you for a while. I mean, you better have your, your road dog with you. Huh? I hope he can see what's going on because you ain't seeing real good. Huh? Come on, just say it, amen. amen. See, see, somebody's asking God for something, but their mind ain't made up. Oh God, God, I need me a hub of God. Give me a hub of God. Give me a hub. Look. In the name of Jesus, give me a hub. Look, man, don't do this. Man. Oh, in the name of Jesus, Lord, will you go give me a hub? Look at how you carry yourself. Look at how you clean up there. Look at what's going on with you. What's that? Yeah, no, no, no. Come here. Come here. Let me tell you something. Right over there. They got a hub of place. Go over there and ask some people. But that's the devil over there. Yeah, but you don't want to ask me because you, I ain't going to send that into the devil's house. You look cold. You have some time. Take a bath. Brush your blame teeth. Huh, here goes some Mr. Reed. Get your, get your mind right. Get your character right. Walk like you're somebody. Keep your underwear on. Come on, somebody. And you want something from God now, I'm just saying. Huh? I mean, you, 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 come on, Bella, go on and get out the devil. He got old, old, old. I got a bimbo so I can't drop my when I have a pad down here. Yeah. Six pack up. Big, thick. Big old muscle. Talk that old good spleen. Get in there. You don't talk to me like that. I'm, I'm, I'm. What do you mean, get out? I just got out of prison the other day. You think I got all these six packs from? Break your blame, Nick. Now I shut up. Oh, well, I call it my boy, I don't tell it. Come on, man. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. You got what you asked for. You got your hug. He gonna rule over you. <laughs> he believe in the word of God. He gonna put it on you right. Hmm. Come on, somebody. I'm just saying. Amen. Because if you wanted anything from God, you would have came to God, believing that He is God. God gonna get it to me. He gonna take it to the palm, so I got to get dressed. I got to get the right clothes on. I got to look. Here you go. Here you go, boy, my mama. This is my mother now. You see how they walking down there? Dragging the feet. Making all that blame noise. Bop! Pick up your blame feet. Uh, you do sorry to pick up your blame. Uh, walk like you got some sense. That's the way to walk. All that blame everybody in the store. Y'all know how it is, huh? Nowadays, they like this here. Hey, hey, yeah. What is my phone? Yeah. Come on now, huh? Uh, I thank the Lord. You want to move into a $200,000 house with that mentality you got. That's good mentality. Boom! Boom, 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 boom! Boom, boom. You want to have to move. I don't care how we get you up out of here. I'll burn a cross in you. 
Come on, something. I'm just saying, amen. Huh? You got to leave me, amen. You got to have another spirit with you. Caleb had another spirit and he followed the law. You ain't going nowhere with God with all that foolishness. You ain't going nowhere with God with that mindset that you have. The only way you won't ride with the Lord is you got to have the mind of Come on, somebody. The mind of Christ. Come on, somebody. The mind of Christ. Let me try over here. The mind of Christ. No, ain't no. The mind of Christ. Thank you. Uh, you got to have the mind of Christ. You won't come to the Lord. You got to believe that He is. And there's another part component to it. That he's a rewarder yes, of those that what? Consistently, diligently. Well, I asked him, but I ain't got it. I don't believe I'm going back no more because I. They made the check too down. <laughs> I ask God to straight look at him. I'm going to show you something. Can I say something? I ask God to help me. I ask God to straighten my life out. You know what happened? The church faced me. What happened here in the church? They didn't receive me right. They just talked and that usher looked at me so funny. So how do you know they looked at you funny? They ain't been going to church. How you know the people just don't look like that? Because when I be going in the bar, you don't know. I, I go in the bar, everybody be like, about drunk or high. They check the women have on those long hair dresses. We have splits. You ain't even got used to going to church. So the devil met you at the door. And you wouldn't diligently seek God from no other purpose now. You, you, don't ask God for nothing you, you don't really want. Because he's going to take you the way you want to go. The way you want to go is the reason you called on him. You got to have your mind made up. And your mind has to be stayed on the law. When they went off in the, the check out the land, what they what 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 the report was from Joshua and Caleb, it said, if the Lord delighted us, then would he bring us into this land? I don't know what the credit hope people told you. I don't know what the, you trying to you paying how much to fix your credit. You rather pay all that than to pray to God. You rather you rather do all that than to get on. See, you should have went to God first. Got your credit right with God. Got some favor with God. Been living by His grace. I got the grace of God, the favor. Then go get your house. But the man out there won't let me. Oh, I understand. You got favor with God, but the man out there stopped. Mm -hmm. That's a bad man down there. I tell you, yeah, you know that. Come on, somebody. See, God gave me the, the see the spirit that is with me is a spirit that's teaching me in faith that I have within me the spirit of God, yeah. and the spirit that I have within me. The spirit that I have within me gave give me dominion. So the reason that I met that man was either he was going to have dominion or I was going to have dominion. Either the credit department was going to have the dominion or I was going to have the dominion. It, it, it's, it's whoever that I'm facing, whether they're going to have the dominion or what. See, if, if, if God delighted me 
because he sees faith in me. And my faith is not in myself, nor in anybody else, but in God. Come on, somebody. I'm just saying. See, now, 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 can I show you this? Can I, can I just KO through here? He said, if the Lord delight in us, then he will give, he, he, then he will bring us into this land. See, God going to bring us into the land. God, God, God going to bring us into the land and give it in us. It, it, it didn't say give it to me, it said us. Is anybody going with me? You, you can't go with that doubt now. You can't go with that disbelief. You can't go with that wondering spirit. You got to have your mind made up. And your heart got to be fixed. You got to have the mind of Christ. This is a house of believers. This is a house of faith. This is a house of God. And we're here because we believe in what is it that you came in here for? What is it that you came in? Did you have a purpose to come in here or did you just come to check? I mean, if you don't have no need, then ain't nothing for us. Uh, for what reason? Do everywhere you go, you go when you go in the restaurant, you don't go in there to eat at least. You might not know what you want to eat. Why did you pick chilies if, if McDonald's was down the street? It must have been something in chip. Huh? I'm just saying. You could have went to the Bible, you came to the church. So you didn't come for a drink, so you don't need to try to get drunk with the wine. Can I say this in to, to I, thank you, Holy Ghost. We do communion here in the name of the first son. Huh? We give a, a, a piece of bread and a and a drink. Not a bottle, a drink, a wine. And not a loaf, but a piece of bread. Huh? Ain't nobody trying to deal with that gluttony. See, you ain't gonna get drunk right here. Now, if you just a dead as a person, that ain't drunk. That just did. If that one cup there makes you drunk, I'll get your next drink for you. I <laughs> said, don't take much. Huh? I'm just saying. Hey, Amen. So, so he's not trying to He's giving you a drink, not to get you drunk. He's giving you bread, not to run behind worldly things, but the things of God. He said, Only rebel not against the Lord, neither fear ye the peoples of the land, for they are bread for us. You got to get the, you got to get the idea in your you got to see in your mind. You got to see from the mind of Christ. You got to see from the mind of believers that they're to feed their bread. But why are they bread for me? Because God is going to provide all of my needs according to his riches and glory. And I have a need for this. I have a hunger for this. I, I, I have a hunger to move up a little further. You know, people that's on them talent shows and they stay and try to outdo the other one, they, they have a certain hunger. You got to be hungry to win this thing. You know, people that's running track, they got to be hungry to win the track race. You know, you know, when, when somebody is trying to get, when you done got picked up a ticket somewhere and, and, and you ain't trying to get there and somebody else trying to discourage you because they try to step in your road. Yes. And I can do it better than you. But you got to have a made up mind. Your mind got to be made up. There ain't nothing you can do in the house of God if your mind ain't made up. If, if I got that, if, if I got that, say I'm a, a pastor, say I'm a prophet, and I got that, and you get chosen a deacon, a uh, 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 armor bearer, a singer, whatever, if I got to constantly tell you what to do, I don't need you. See, because if my mind is made up on what I'm supposed to be doing, then I'm going to put time in where I, I'm not going to be a roofer and sit in the car and want to get paid. I'm not going to be a roofer and get on the, on the top of the roof 
and ain't, ain't putting no shade or not. I'm not gonna get up there and pretend I don't know what to do. Or you got to come by and tell me what to do every time I turn around. No, 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 no. That ain't happening like that. Now you teasing yourself because when God comes with the increase, you are gonna tease yourself out the door, and probably with an attitude. Cause ain't nobody mad. 